One of the things about architecture is that it's very difficult to deny as you walk around the city. It is there, it's very present. And I think it can be used as a very powerful agent to say there is something that is a part of the city, that is in concert with the city, is positive, and is a way of creating a more integrated community and hopefully a more integrated whole for the city. The idea that architecture or design or any profession or discipline can jump boundaries, can jump borders and expand its, its capabilities and its influence in culture comes directly from my education at RISD. The idea that we would all be in studio together late at night, painters, glass blowers, graphic designers, architects, where the specifics of your discipline didn't matter so much, but the cohesion of your ideas and your beliefs brought you together. It gave me a way of, of making something of consequence uh, that related to the way that I interpreted the world. One Santa Fe is a kind of microcosm for the city in and of itself. It's almost a piece of urban fabric as much as it is a building specifically. One of the goals that I had for that building was to begin to take on some of the uh, larger challenges that I think face Los Angeles and face many contemporary cities, including uh, how to create a more dynamic mixed use in a city that has been a much more suburban and siloized city in the past. Secondly, one of the things that is very important is that density is becoming more and more a reality in Los Angeles, and I was trying to find a way of creating density in a very positive, more contemporary and forward-facing way. There is an enormous amount that makes up our environment, our city, our systems that we live with on a day-in, day-out basis that would benefit greatly from a strong design approach, a critical evaluation, critical research about what they do, the possibilities of what they could do, how they could evolve in a strong way to imagine where we don't belong or where we haven't been and to try to get there. My practice here has continued to expand the, the types of projects that it's involved with, including infrastructure for the city, like the Sixth Street Bridge. Much of that world, the infrastructural world, the engineering world, the civic structure that is largely anonymous to most people, too often does not have a strong design component to it. And what I've gotten more and more excited about is that there's this whole world that, that has this huge effect on our day in, day out life and is largely anonymous, but could be so much better, so much more productive in our uh, landscape and, and urbanscape. And I've become more and more motivated to try to find a way to bring design to that. And if you can find those spaces where very few people have operated before, very often it's the place where you can have the most radical effect.